Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Okay, the National Institute on Aging recommends following a healthy diet, staying physically active, being mentally active, socializing, looking after your health in general, like controlling your blood pressure and your blood sugar, for you to maintain cognitive health and memory functions well into old age. Now, tart cherries recently have entered that mix. They really should be part of a healthful diet. There's a, a recent clinical study it's from the University of Delaware, and they found improvements in cognitive function in older adults who drank tart cherry juice every day for 12 weeks. So welcome to our episode, Tart Cherries and Memory. Hi, my name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a nutritional pharmacist. I'm also the senior scientific officer over here at Invite Health. Uh, and, you know, we have a whole crew of people in our nutrition department, naturopathic doctors, dietitians, clinical nutritionists, pharmacists, nutritionists. You can get in touch with them. In any event, let's get to the data. This is the journal Food and Function. It's a very recent study it's from the Department of Behavioral Health and Nutrition. So the College of Health Science, the University of Delaware, but also the School of Nursing, University of Delaware. Um, they want to test the effects of tart cherry on uh, brain health, on memory functions in um, adults between the age of 65 to 80. Now they had normal cognitive function. They did not have uh, memory loss. So they gave them Montmorency tart cherry twice a day for 12 weeks. And then they tested a subjective memory and objective cognitive performance, etc. after the 12 weeks. And they found a difference. They found a difference from baseline uh, before they were given the tart cherry and the end of the study. By the end of the study, the, the people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, they were more contented. They were more calm. But they did better on memory scores, on memory function tests as well as performing better on, on learning, on learning tasks, uh, on retaining memory, on working memory, on visual sustained attention. So there was, across the board, many improvements uh, with the tart cherry. So the tart cherry is loaded with flavonoids called anthocyanins that are good for circulation. Uh, they're excellent very powerful antioxidants. It's interesting because antioxidant levels in the eyes and brain decline with age, and anthocyanins are very good for your eyes and your brain. If you look at the data on tart cherries in general, um, there's studies out of uh, Texas A&M where they gave their athletes, their NCAA athletes, tart cherry, the Montmorency tart cherry to skins. Uh, it's called Cherry Pure. And they, they performed better physically, and they recovered faster, and they had fewer injuries. There's a number of studies that they published. But there's other studies on tart cherry helping improve blood flow, help uh, circulation in general, helping improve blood pressure. Um, also, by the way, improving nighttime sleep. You're taking the tart cherry in the daytime for mental power, but at night you're sleeping better. There's several studies on that, too. In fact, we've done a, an episode on that did a podcast episode on tart cherry and other nutrients that can help you sleep better at night. So after 12 weeks, the University of Delaware found uh, better memory, uh, better contentment, calmer. Um, they responded quicker to information. Um, they had a um, 23% reduction in errors in episodic visual memory. They had a 3% improvement in sustained attention, visual sustained attention, and an 18% reduction in errors during spatial memory working tasks. So, you know, doing math and stuff like that. Uh, it's This is good. I mean, that's a good result. Now, a lot of studies on tart cherry um, have also come out of um, the UK from England. Uh, this is Northumbria University. And um, these are older folks 
who are experiencing some memory decline, some cognitive decline. In the study, they gave people in their 50s and 60s tart cherry, the Montmorency tart cherry, and it improved blood flow to their brain. So let's discuss that right after I go over the study. It was an hour after drinking the tart cherry that blood flow and oxygen utilization in the brain improved. Uh, they found that um, it also lowered their um, systolic blood pressure, which is the top figure in their blood pressure three hours after consuming. So what does that all mean? As we grow older, circulation to the brain declines. Now, this is Northumbria University in the UK, by the way. They've done a lot of brain research studies. Um, as we grow older in our 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond, circulation to the brain steadily declines. Now, Harvard tried to put a figure on it. They canvassed thousands of Americans over many years, and they found that circulation to the brain commonly declines between 10 and 14 percent. Of course, it could be worse in smokers or alcoholics or people with uh, heart failure or people with uh, clogged arteries, hardening of the arteries, and also in diabetics. So what tart cherry does, it restores the health to the cells that line your blood vessel walls. They're called endothelial cells. They line your blood vessel walls like a rug, shoulder to shoulder, and it's their job to push open the blood vessels. But with age, they lose their mojo, they lose their strength, and therefore the heart has to pump harder to get blood successfully to the brain and to the legs, but it's not working so well and circulation declines. As circulation to the brain declines, Parts of the brain that are involved with memory and cognitive functions, you know, like keeping track of time and getting your job done on time, planning and coordinating events, finding your way home from your trip, whatever it might be, they decline because the cells start to die in those organs. And you start to have aging of the organs at a more advanced rate. This is the uh, hippocampus, a major organ for memory, uh, the dentate gyrus, and the interrhinal cortex. And when that happens, not exactly shriveling, but they're changing, they're pulling apart, and their neural networks are uncoupling. So they're not firing together, they're not working together, they're not coordinated, and this affects a lot of things to do with your, your memory and your judgment and your problem-solving skills and your ability to learn, etc. Now, when you restore circulation, um, the uh, tart cherry skin is loaded with these deep, deep, vibrant red polyphenols called anthocyanins, they help the blood vessel walls, the cells in the blood vessel walls, push it open again. So now the heart can more successfully push blood back up to the brain. Plus they uh, stabilize a gas in your blood vessels called nitric oxide. Nit uh, think of it like pumping up a flat tire on your bicycle. Nitric oxide pushes open the blood vessel walls so you can more successfully get blood to your brain and your legs and all your organs and tissues and your skin, etc., and your eyeballs. And that, of course, helps normalize blood pressure if the blood pressure is elevated, but that successfully gets more blood to your brain. And then you develop something called neurovascular coupling. Neurovascular coupling is when the blood is restored. There's several nutrients that do that, resveratrol, the flavanthriols in cocoa, and the anthocyanins in tartary. Uh, when you restore the, the uh, circulation to the brain, you have neurovascular coupling, which means the organs are reverting back to a younger, healthier form, and they're generating nerve connections. They're creating new nerve pathways, and they start to coordinate together, and they're firing together, and your memory improves. So that's what's going on with the tart cherry. So the next study is in people with mild to moderate dementia, such as mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. So these people are suffering. It's European Journal of Nutrition. It's the School of Medicine, University of Wollongong. They do a lot of research in nutrition there down in Australia. The School of Psychology, University of Wollongong. The Division of Aged Care and Rehabilitation, Wollongong Hospital. And the School of Nursing, University of Wollongong. It's a, a pretty well-known, highly regarded research institution, academic research institution down in Australia. So they gave these people with mild to moderate dementia um, tart cherry or a placebo. Now, the placebo was tart cherry minus the anthocyanins. So that's how they did it. And uh, they gave it to these people over a 12-week period, and they found a real change. Any supplement that's going to help the brain should accomplish that within three months. If it doesn't help the brain within three months, it's not helping the brain. I see this again and again in research. If something works for the brain, it's going to start working within like the first four to six weeks. 
So they found improvements in verbal fluency. These people were speaking better. They were remembering names and, and facts better. They have short-term memory. In other words, they're doing something and they keep, can keep on doing it. They're not forgetting what they're doing. Their long-term memory, like who they took to the prom, what was their first car, what's their favorite band. A significant reduction also in elevated blood pressure. So all in all, the torture really meant something and people with some subjective memory loss. Subjective memory loss is very common with aging. It's when um, you feel you're starting to forget things, but everybody else doesn't notice it at all. Like I'd say, hey, I, I'm starting to re forget things, and my wife would say, oh, you're, no, you're not, Jerry. But these other people had true dementia. So tart cherry is very safe. Um, if you mix tart cherry in with cocoa, uh, real cocoa. We're not we're not talking chocolate because when you process the cocoa into chocolate, you lose the flavin three oils that are so good for circulation to the brain. Or if you take tart cherry with beets, because beets also red beets. We're not talking sugar beets. We're talking red beets. The red beet root also improves circulation to the brain. Or if you just take the tart cherry and resveratrol, those are good couplings to restore circulation to your aging brain. So if you're over the age of 50, I would recommend that because if you keep the circulation going, you lose fewer memory cells. The other thing you want to cultivate is your brain-derived neurotrophic factor. We did a, an episode on that with our biocurcumin 5 loxin product, which has been shown in human clinical trials to be very good for memory, very good for your mood, and supports the func release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is a completely different thing. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor is released when you go into deep sleep at night. I might as well explain it now. Uh, you release it when you go into deep sleep at night, and it nurtures the formation of new memory cells, which is important because you've lost memory cells in the preceding day. So you have to replace them. Young people release enough brain-derived neurotrophic factor on a nightly basis to replace about 600 memory cells per night. So it's taking progenitor stem cells and converting them into memory cells and like the hippocampal tissue. Um, but older people release less and less brain-derived neurotrophic factor and the biocurcumin, which is a well-absorbed turmeric, it's the complete plant, has been shown to restore the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. That's creating cognitive reserve, which means you're getting new tissue that hasn't been tainted by memory loss or depression or anything. It's making your brain younger. It's making your memory healthier. So there are several ways to improve brain health and help restore memory functions. Uh, restoring circulation to the brain is one of them with, with uh, components like uh, tart cherry, red beetroot, resveratrol, and cocoa. Out of all of those, tart cherry and resveratrol are probably the strongest, if you look at the data. Um, and then stimulating the, re the, um, the formation of brain-derived neurotrophic factor with a really well-absorbed turmeric plant. And, and don't just go by curcumin. Curcumin is only one of the good ingredients in turmeric root that's good for your brain. In any event, thanks for tuning into the Invite Health Podcast. You can find all of our episodes for free any place you listen to your podcast or just visit invitehealth.com. And our cover page, if you scan down, you'll see an icon for the podcast. And we have several hundred on our website now. Please subscribe. Please leave me a review. You, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Invite Health. I hope to see you the next time on another episode of the Invite Health Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Mm -hmm.